present. This double checks that all your details are correct, your operation site is clearly marked, your hospital number is correct, and that the board is written up with your correct name, eye to be operated on, and the size of implant to be used. Only when all these final checks have been completed will your operation take place. Preparing you for the operation includes cleaning the area around your eye with an antiseptic solution and putting a small clip in place to hold your eyelids open during the surgery. To keep you feeling fresh, oxygen is gently blown over your face through a pipe which sits under the drapes that are placed around your eye. The drapes cover the rest of your face and upper body to maintain a clean and sterile environment which reduces the risk of any infection. You won't be able to see anything clearly and you shouldn't feel any pain though you may be aware of some pressure on your eye. During this extremely delicate operation the surgeon will be looking through a microscope which magnifies your eye 20 times so they can clearly see to remove your cataract and put the implant in its place. Once the surgery is completed a pad will be placed over your eye, which must remain in place overnight. You will be escorted back to the waiting area, where you'll be given a drink. Though regular checks are not necessary after cataract surgery, there's always a nurse on hand in the waiting area should you need any assistance. And if the operation has been straightforward, you'll be able to go home after 20 minutes to an hour. Before you leave the unit, a nurse will give you the drops you need to use for the next few weeks. These will help to reduce the risk of infection and any swelling in your eye. The nurse will explain how to put in your drops and how to care for your eye in the first few weeks, including how to bathe it with sterile water. You will be given written instructions to take home, and there's also a video on the Royal Free website if you should need further information on looking after your eye. You'll need someone to collect you from the hospital and go home with you, and you may also find it useful to have someone stay for the first 24 hours. The morning after your surgery you can take the pad off, though for the next few days you might be asked to wear the shield over your eye at night. One of the nurses will telephone you during the morning and ask you to report on how your eye is looking and feeling. If everything is satisfactory, you won't need to come back to the hospital until your outpatient clinic appointment, which is usually between two to six weeks after your surgery, and will be at the same hospital in which you had your first appointment with a consultant. You'll first of all be seen by the nurse, who will again carry out some simple eye tests in the same way as you were tested before your operation. The doctor will examine your eye, and if all is well, you're not having another operation, and you don't have to continue to attend for any other eye conditions, you'll be discharged. If you are having your other eye done, you'll be put on the list for this, and an admission letter will be sent out to you. If you require new glasses, you'll need to return to your own or the hospital opticians when your eye has settled properly. This is usually between four to ten weeks, and your consultant will advise you on this. If this is your first cataract operation, and you are having the second one done, you may have some difficulties with your sight between the operations, but this is normal and will be resolved by the second operation. It may be advisable to wait until after both eyes have been operated on before getting your glasses, as the prescription for them will be different again after the second operation. Some of the first problems I noticed were when driving. I couldn't see the road signs till I was right on top of them. At first I thought I was still okay to drive. Well, you think you can see clearly enough, which can actually be very dangerous as I found out. One evening I didn't see some roadworks, and I nearly drove down the hole in the road, so I stopped driving at night. Then I had a near accident at a junction. I saw a car in the distance and pulled out thinking I'd got enough space, but what I hadn't actually seen was a car in front of it. Luckily everyone stopped in time, and uh, that's when I said, right, I'm not going to get into a car again until I've had my operations. I went along to my GP and she told me that my local hospital, the Royal Free, had a very good reputation. So I booked in for an appointment and my whole life has been turned around. I've now had both my cataracts done. My eyesight is brilliant and I'm back to driving everywhere. I'm an independent person again. 
Reading and using a computer had also become difficult. I'm very much into biography and I, everything was just put on hold. But since my operations, uh, my world has changed. And uh, I'm not just reading one book, but two books. But one of the most difficult issues for me was recognising people from a distance, because this made enjoying the theatre so very difficult. When you can't see facial expressions, you become disengaged and detached from the performance. But since I had my operations, I can really enjoy theatre again. I can see everything really clearly. No more do I feel left out of the action. Life is now a complete experience for me again.